In this video, I'll be sharing the ultimate time blocking method in Notion. This method is an absolute game changer. Time blocking, for anyone that doesn't know, is where you divide your day into blocks of time and assign tasks to each time block. But wait, why is time blocking such a game changer, you ask? Well, picture this, a life where your to-do list is no longer a source of stress, but a roadmap to success, where every minute is a deliberate step towards your goals. Today, we're not just talking about managing time, we're talking about mastering it, bending it to your will with the help of Notion. So stick around because in the rest of this video I'll be guiding you through exactly how to set up your own time blocking system in Notion, sharing tons of tips and tricks along the way. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already as I upload new Notion tutorials like this one twice a week. So before we get started I'm just going to give you a quick tour of what we're going to create today and then I'll show you step by step how to make it. So here is a calendar within Notion and as you can see on every single day we have this little scheduled block here and if I just click on one of these boxes here that will bring up the schedule for the day and as you can see here is our actual time blocking method so I'm going to show you how to set this up so you will only have to create this table here once and then you can auto generate it every single day and just fill it out each day with the tasks that you have to complete that day. So now that I've given you the tour next I'm going to show you how to build this for yourself. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is create a brand new database and this one is going to be a calendar so I'm going to type in forward slash calendar and select this calendar view database here. Now it's going to ask me if I want to use an existing database in this case I'm going to create a brand new one and I'm just going to call this database calendar and I'm just going to click on the three dots and hide the title as well. So now we have our simple calendar so next we need to add our time blocking template that we're going to generate every single day. So to do that I'm going to click on this little arrow here and select new template which is going to open up this page. I'm just going to make this full page so that it's just a little bit easier for you to see. So this page I'm going to name schedule and I'm also going to select an icon up here as well. So I'm actually going to use Notion's icon library so let's just use a calendar like this one. Feel free to pick any icon that you like. Now the first thing we're going to do is just click on the three dots up here and I'm just going to change this to full width so there's just a little bit more space on the page to work with. Okay so the time blocking table that I showed you earlier in the example is actually a static table so we're going to type in forward slash table and we want to click on this table under the basic blocks and not the table view under the database view. So this is just a simple table so that's the one we're going to select and that will show up like this. Now we're going to start by adding a head Row. So if I just click on the options here and where it says header row, I'm just going to toggle this on. And as you can see, that's now added this little header row. So in the first column, we're going to put the time. And in the second one, I'm going to write event. So you could name this column whatever you like. I'm going with event, but feel free to change it to something else like task. So essentially in this first column, we're going to input the time. And in the second column, it's going to be the actual task or event that you want to do at that time. And I'm also just going to highlight each of these and just make them bold as well. So they stand out a little bit more. So in this first column here, I'm going to start by inputting the time. So this is a little bit tedious because you do have to input all of the different times of day but luckily you do only have to do it once and then this will be auto generated for you every single day so I'm going to start mine at 6 a.m but feel free to start it whenever you like and I'm going to add half an hour intervals so the next one is going to be 6 30 a.m again it's completely up to you you might want to do hour intervals but in this case I'm going to stick with half an hour intervals so to start I'm just going to input all the way from 6 a.m to 2 30 p.m okay so I've now added each of those in on a separate row now the next thing we're going to do is just highlight this entire first column so if you just click on this button here that will highlight them all and I'll just click away so we get rid of that menu but they're still highlighted and then on your keyboard you just want to hit command b if you're on a mac or control b if you're on a windows and it's just going to bold all of the time so they just stand out a little bit more at this point I'm just going to make this second column a little bit wider because this is where we're actually going to write the name of the task so we just need a little bit more space and I can actually make this one a little bit smaller because we don't need all of that space so just before we jump back into the tutorial I just want to mention that my new second brain template is now available on my store it's a super advanced all-in-one productivity system. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you're interested. So that's all back to the tutorial. Okay so next we're going to start setting the color. So I want to break up the different times of days into different segments so we could have early morning, morning, afternoon and so on. So to do that we're actually going to color the individual rows. So to do that we're going to click on this little button here, select color and then down here I can actually select which color I want the row to be. So in this case let's go with orange. So I'm going to make all of the rows up until 7 30 a.m orange. So unfortunately I haven't found a way where you can highlight all of the rows and set the color at once. You do have to do them manually one by one which is a little bit annoying. I have spent ages trying to figure out how you can highlight the rows and set the colors but unfortunately it doesn't appear that there is a way. If anyone does figure it out please comment below and I will set that as the pinned comment. But as of now it appears that you have to do this manually. Okay so for the next row 8am I'm going to make this one yellow to show that it's a different time of day and I'm going to do them yellow all the way up until 12pm. Okay so now for the rest of these rows I'm going to make
make all of these green. Okay, so now that we've colored all of the rows up to 2.30 p.m., we're now gonna add a second table for the rest of the day. And I'm then gonna place that table next to this one. So it's just a little bit easier to view than it would have been if it was just one really long table. So just underneath, we're gonna grab another table block like this. And I'm just gonna make sure that the widths of these columns are about similar. So I'm just gonna make that one about here in line with this one. And this one I'm just gonna pull out so it's in line with this row here. And from here, I'm just gonna add the time. So we ended here on 2.30, so I'm gonna add 3 p.m. in here and so on. I'm just gonna add all the way until midnight. Okay, so I've just added all those in. So once again, I'm just gonna highlight this entire column and just bold all of the text in here as well. And just to follow on from the first table, we're gonna start by making this row green. And I'm gonna carry on making the rose green until 4.30. Okay, and then from 5 p.m. onwards, we're gonna start making these blue to show that we're now moving into the evening. And I'm gonna make them blue all the way to 9 p.m. And then for the final rose, I'm just gonna make these ones purple to show that they're later on in the evening or nighttime. Okay, so this is now what it looks like. So the next thing we need to do is put these into two columns so that they're side by side. So right at the top, I'm just gonna type in forward slash 2C and select this two columns block. And I'm simply just gonna grab this one and drag it and move it into the first column. And then I'm just going to do the same with the second one but drag it into the second column which is here okay so as you can see these are now side by side which just makes it a little bit easier to see all of the different time slots for your day okay so that is the template complete so i'm just going to hit this back button here and i'm just going to hit back again okay so now back on our calendar view i'm going to click on this downward arrow again and here is that template that we've just set up so i'm going to click on these three dots we're actually going to set it as default and we're going to select for all views so essentially just what this does is whenever we add something new to our calendar it will add that template as default so let's do it on today's date as an example. So I'm going to click on this plus symbol and it's just going to add our scheduled template. So if I scroll down, here is our time blocking table that we've just created. So I can simply just start filling this in. And then back on the calendar, it will now show up as a little block. So I can just click on it whenever I like to view the schedule. Now you can do this on every single day. So you can just click on the plus symbol to add the template. But if you do want to have this automatically generated for you every single day, we can actually set this template as recurring, which just means that it duplicates itself every single day so that you don't have to bother clicking this button. So to do that, we're gonna click again on this downward arrow and again on the three dots next to the template. And we're actually gonna select this repeat option here. And it's gonna ask me how often I want to repeat this template. So I'm gonna go with every day so that it generates it every single day. So you just want to make sure this says every one days and it's gonna start from today and it will usually generate it at midnight every single day. So by the time that I get to my laptop in the morning, it will already have generated and then I can just fill in my time blocking from there. So I can just hit save. Now, the only problem with recurring templates is that they will only generate on the selected day. So you can't look ahead. It won't generate the day before. It will generate on the morning of the day. So if you did want to fill in your time blocking the night before, then there's two different options. The first is simply just adding it manually. So this is tomorrow. So I could just click on this plus symbol and it will just add in our schedule. So I can then fill this out. If you do want it to be automated, then there is only one option and that is on the actual recurring template. So if I just go back on here, click the three dots and go back onto the repeat so we can see the settings. So you could play around with the time zones here. So this will automatically pick up your time zone and it will generate at midnight in your local time zone. So GMT is my local time zone. Now, if you click on here, it will let you select from a bunch of different time zones. So if I selected this one that was plus two, this would generate it two hours early. So if I set it to generate at midnight, it would actually generate it for 10 p.m. in my local time zone. So you wanna look for a time zone that has a large number on here. So there are a few like this one that will generate it 14 hours early. So that would work for me, but obviously this method will vary depending on where exactly you live. If you live somewhere in Europe or the Americas or Asia, this will probably work quite well. But unfortunately, if you're from somewhere like Australia or New Zealand, it might not work so well due to your time zone. So personally, I probably think the easiest way to do it would be just to add it manually if you want to fill it in the night before. And that is our time blocking schedule complete. So you simply just click on the button every single day and you can then fill out your schedule using this time blocking method. And that's it. You can check out all of my pre-made Notion templates, including this advanced second brain template, which is an all-in-one productivity system over on my store. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And if you did find this video useful, then I'd really appreciate if you could give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as I post new Notion tutorials like this one twice a week.